Hey guys, um, so, I said I was going to talk to you guys today, um, today we had a snow day, I might be home by now, cause here in mountain time it's about, uh, 3.40 right now, and, but I kind of wanted to tell you about my life's soundtrack, um, I'm sure everybody has one. Um, let's see, where do I really begin? Um, it's kind of hard, you know. Um, let's see, when it's deer season or antelope season, um, my song for that is Big Bulls and Big Bucks by Gabe Miller. Um, I know most of you haven't heard of him, I guess, because he's not as memorable as... Clint Black and all of them. Um, when I'm on vacation for on a summer road trip, um, I mean they, I got a few for these, but um, the main two is "Save Tonight" by Eagle Eye Cherry and "Shotgun" by George Urza. Those two are the main ones. Um, one. I see. Kind of got to think here, you know. Um. But those are just a few. Um. I can't really remember everything else, but. Let's see. But there's none, really none else. So, I'll kind of leave you at that, but. Oh, yeah, and Crazy Nights is when we have our parties. Um, sometimes my dad's boss will invite us over for like. Um, I think last year during the pandemic, we had a steak dinner, and, let's see, but for when we have our parties and all that, it'd have to be Crazy Nice by Kiss. Um, I got a few love songs for when I see my crushes, or... For the my man, which I mentioned in a couple of my videos before, which one of you guys liked. Um, see it. One of them would have to be a love song by Tesla. Um, you belong with me by Taylor Swift. Um. See, ya. I love you too much by Diego Luna from the Book of Life. Yeah, okay, I like that movie. <laughs> the mariachis are funny, to be honest with you. Kind of the worst wingman of all time. Um, but I also wanted to, um. I kind of also wanted to touch up on Luke McCaffrey. Um, Luke, if you find this video, um, kind of, still kind of waiting for you to write me back, you know. And I got so much to ask you about. Well, not really, but one of them is why do you, I know why you left, but Really, did you have to leave, you know? Scott's trying his hardest. Um. I know where you, you went to. Uh, um, Rice University. I'm not stalking you or anything. It's just. You know, I kind of got to keep up on sports, you know. 
but my most favorite sport, football, Americano. For those of you who are not watching, well, those of you who are watching from outside the United States, you know what? The weird thing is I find that England calls so their sport soccer football too, so, I mean, if we were... If I were to be in the UK for a while, you know, it'd take me quite a while to get used to them calling soccer football. Because I'd be used to football Americano, one where you hold the, the ball in your hands and run with it instead of kicking it around with your foot. It reminds me of the one time in business we created our own fantasy teams, I think, and see, I did a soccer team. Um, I called them the London Royal Guard. Um, the colors were yellow and blue. Uh, see, I remember a few of the players I had on there, the Scooby-Doo gang, except Scooby, I think. Can't remember, and then um, the Beatles, Ozzy, um, let's see, I think I had The Rock on there too, and Puss in Boots, and I'm trying to remember a few others, because I think we had to have a total of 20, and I can't remember <laughs> the rest after that, um, but I did have fun with that, um, See, still trying to remember who else I had on that t roster. Um, yeah, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna give up on trying to remember. I had it on Google Sheets at one point, but I think I deleted it. Unless it's an untitled document. The annoying thing is when things are on an untitled document. You know, it's kind of annoying because you can't remember which one is what you're looking for. So then it takes you forever to find it. That's why I, I try to title everything I put on there so it'd be easier for me to find it. Um, but wanted to touch up on... those things um and at one point i remember i'm creating and then at one point i'm working on a fantasy oh what was it fantasy paradise deal for on a poster boards um so far i got my dream candyland slash wonderland yeah okay i may be a little weird but you know, it's a good place to hide away when, at least in my mind, when I'm, you know, not wanting to be around the world. Because with the way the world is right now, with the Omicron spreading around, um, from the way it's sounding, they, nobody's sure if it's deadly or not. Um, so, I mean... I kind of see where this is going, you know, because I think it was the same thing with COVID when we started hearing about it, I think, like, at the end of 2019. Um, so I'm not sure how, so it's about the same time that we started hearing about COVID-19. So I'm, I don't know, I'll see what happens in the next year if we end up having a worldwide pandemic and quarantines and shutting everything down again, you know. Last year was kind of fun. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it was pretty fun. But interesting, you know, and kind of scared at the same time because you don't know what's going to happen the next day because the next day it might come down with it and, you know, may never see the light of day again. Um, but, you know, 
Talk to you tomorrow, maybe.